Is it on? Actually, it's on right now. Oh, well, shit. Take a look at the back of that shirt, though. Okay. Alright, so I want to do something a little different besides going over all of these shoes that you've pretty much already seen. And I have a small collection of complete boards that I bought on eBay over the years, so I figure why not dive into it and check a few of them out, talk about it. We'll start with this random board. I found this on eBay. I didn't know the board company Roots. Never heard of it, but it has the independence that I like. I think these are stage eight or nine, but it's my favorite independent truck because this is the one that was out whenever I started skating. But the previous owner was obviously a NASCAR fan because check out that sticker job. But this board did come with three Spitfire wheels which are my favorite wheels, the red and yellow swirl wheels. The first legit board I ever rode was a World Industries board that had yellow and red swirl World Industries wheels on it. And so it's always been like embedded in me and I've always wanted that wheel. Look at that. One lone wet willy World Industries wheel on this one. I fucking wish it had all four of these cause these are sick. Look. It says on the inside, World Industries. That's pretty crazy. And once again, it's another swirl wheel. Nobody does swirl wheels anymore. I don't know why. This board is hefty though. I mean, for the time, dude, like everybody's riding 7.5s, like myself, or 7.4s. And this bitch is an 8, I think. It's pretty fucking big. But that's enough of that one. Next board. Ugh. This one is not old, as you can tell, it's Death Wish. Death Wish doesn't really have any old boards just yet, because they're still a pretty new company. But I built this one when I was wanting to skate bigger setups. This one's a 8.125 or 25, I can't remember. I think it's an 8.25. And I never skated it. I built it, I had another board that was 8.25 and skated it and didn't like it. So I never got around to skating this one. And it is still 100% complete. Ordered everything off the internet that I wanted. So I didn't have a local skate shop nearby. Venture trucks, Spitfire wheels, FKD bearings. Look at that. That sound. <laughs> There's no better sound than fresh bearings. Yeah. Ventures are always pretty sick. I like when they switch to the red bushing with that gold. It's like nice little details. I like the older Ventures though. Yeah, the hollow kingpins. Not bad. Maybe one day I'll fucking skate it. Who you knows? Probably not. But next board. Speaking of 7.5s, Zoo York. Jeez, look how fucking narrow these wheels are, though. Which is fucking weird for that time period. Man, look at all the fucking slack. Oh, those are royal trucks? Yeah. I think I know a little bit. Yeah. This one is another, all these, yeah. I found all these on eBay, so I haven't messed with any of them. Like all this fucking slack in these wheels. I don't know who the fuck had this and wrote it. That's freaking crazy. But it does have lucky riser pads. I don't really use risers. I don't plan to skate this one, but it would be kind of cool. 7.5. Alright, that's enough of that. That sucks. Yeah. Oh. Dark Star. I never liked Dark Star, honestly. It just seemed kind of cheesy to me. All the graphics always was like this shit. And I never cared too much for it. This is a fucking a big boy. Bro, this board is huge. 
Yeah, it looks like it. It's like eight point something. And it even has fucking fifty seven point five Spitfire wheels on it. Got one fucking switch Ollie, I'm out of breath. <laughs> old old ass. Yeah, look at that. Destroyer trucks, they went out of business. Destroyer was like forced out of business by Destructo because the names were too similar. So that's what happened to Destroyer. No longer around. But I like buying old boards like this because you get old wheels and shit like these that I've never seen before. And it's always cool getting that little shit. But that's enough of that. Dark Star sucks. Ooh. You guys remember in CCS? Let me see. The CCS completes that they had, the special ones. Let's see. Ooh. Like that, you could always order these. They're always cheaper. Order and complete. They always come with matching wheels and board and blah, blah, bullshit, bullshit. Well, found one of those on eBay one day. I was lucky enough to snag it. Oh, damn. This one's one of my favorite completes that I have uh, because like flipping through the old CCS catalogs, I always wanted to get one of the completes out of there, but I was fucking poor. Thank you, mom and dad. Love you guys. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> these are always sick. And like this one came with the Lucky Pack, so I had the Lucky Bearings, Lucky Risers, Lucky Hardware, I think. No, those are the Green Bolt. I don't know what hardware this one came with. But has the blind wheels with the blind board and it's crazy to me to think that I could find one of these CCS completes like on eBay but then also not at the same time because I mean how many parents went and bought their kid a full complete skateboard and they skated it once and tossed it in the garage because it wasn't for them so kind of makes sense I'd find it but this one's tight once again my favorite independent stage 8 indies Blind wheels, lucky bearings. These ones are quiet though. This 7.75. Yeah, this is one of my favorite completes, so I mean, almost unused. But yeah, that's enough of that one. I'll get to the next one. Here we go. This. I don't know the full details to these, the history on them or whatnot, but it's a Mountain Dew Santa Cruz collaboration. I've seen a few of them online since. I think it might have been like something with X-Games or something maybe. Something like that. Or the Dew Games maybe. I don't know. But it comes with shitty ass bullet wheels. Back in that time, the early 2000s, like bullet was like the cheap alternative at all the fucking skate shops. So a lot of the old completes that you'll find online have bullet wheels or something like that. And shit. But my favorite independence on it. And it's cool about these. All the fucking deck specs on here. Nose link, tail link, wheelbase, width, piece out light. <laughs> this board signed by Mike Frazier, 2001. A lot of you might not know who Mike Frazier was, but he was like transition vert skater back in that time, the mid to late 90s, I believe. And then, of course, in the early 2000s. I don't know whatever happened to that guy though, but he wasn't like a huge pro skater or anything. So of course, a lot of people aren't remember him. Here we go. World Industries. Oh shit. Yep, battle board. This one's tight because it has the old Rufy's grip strip that came with the boards. So I thought that was tight. This person did it the right way too. A lot of people would lay this on top of the fucking grip tape and it retarded. But this guy actually had cut the grip tape, put this down. It's the correct way to do it. But look at that fucking sparkle on that grip tape. Yeah, I was looking at that just now on the light. Yeah, it's fucking, it's like way like blue more, and shit. Yeah, it's way more pronounced than regular grip tape. If anybody knows what grip tape this is, holla, because I've been looking for it. Because I remember seeing this back then, and no grip tape like that nowadays. But this one has the wheels that were on one of my first skateboards I ever rode on. Red and yellow swirl, World Industries wheels. Like the first board, the white and blue swirl wheel. Graphics inside, outside, everywhere. And <clears throat> Fury trucks. 
the old Tony Hawks. Fury was tight because they had like that interlocking system so you didn't have to have a wrench when taking off your trucks. And they got like a built in like little shitty rubber riser pad. But obviously not good enough because they didn't last long. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Enjoy Mullen Saint board. They have the center one too that I don't have. But I came across this one as not fully complete, but halfway there. And it has Crown King AXLs. I remember when these came out, I was fucking pumped because I always rode like the G6s and shit. And then these came out and it was supposed to be lighter, stronger, blah, 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 all that extra bullshit. So I was pumped on these. I had one set of the AXLs as a kid. Grind Kings were sick because of that inverted kingpin. Nobody else really did it, as most of you already know. But the axles on these would always fucking bend down. I always did like stairs and gaps growing up. So Grind Kings weren't really oriented towards my style, but I still got them anyways. But I would have like fucking negative camber on my wheels and shit because the axles would be all fucking bent up and shit. Like it was fucking terrible, but I still rode them all the time because they were light, you know? It always enticed me, like lighter was better. Still is, fuck. But this board's sick. I wish it was like mint, but eh, close enough. Tony Ox Pro Skater right here. Ooh, speaking of Tony Ox Pro Skater, someone you guys might know. Bam, Musk Horizon Sun. One of my favorite graphics of all time, which was actually originated from the Hazoi board. This is literally, Muska just ripped the Hazoi Rising Sun board and put his name on it. Even with the same style font and shit, but this one, like, I always thought Rising Sun board was sick. This has Fury Trucks again, and a good fucking colorway though, red and black, sick. Spitfire Wheels. This one is fucking worn out though. Take care of it. Left oh, it shit. outside. It's all fucking waterlogged and shit, layers are splitting. Look at these fucking fake tail slide attempts. <laughs> Like somebody just fucking slid it on the curb. But yeah, this one was sick. I found this for like 25 bucks on eBay, which is fucking surprising for anything musker related. As most of y'all know, it's fucking expensive. Oh, what next? Oh, another big boy. This is an eight something. Black Label. Black Label was always cool to me, but I wasn't a fucking bowl skate or anything which I always felt like that's who you had to be to ride a black label board because like there's no like black label street skaters or anything really they're always like transition dudes and this one has grind kings g6s with the flame bases and they're wide which is fucking weird because i didn't think grind king made any truck wider than like a 775 and this looks like an 8.1 maybe or so maybe it's a fucking Hey guys, truck, I don't know, it looks wider than the 8 though. But, Swirl Wheels, my favorite, once again. These ones are fucking three color though, green, red, and yellow. Spitfires, of course. Spitfire was like king of doing Swirl Wheels. Do a couple more boards and call it the wrap. We have here the Birdhouse, I think it was the Ape series. This one I don't see too much, the team board. Usually I see just each individual rider's board. And I saw this one on eBay for cheap, so I jumped on it. Came with these bright ass yellow monsters. With the fucking little eyes and shit. Monster didn't last long. Wasn't out that long. Spitfire wheels. Swirl again. That's, I'm a fucking sucker for swirl wheels. Another board I found cheap on eBay. People ask me all the time where I find all my stuff at. Dude, it's literally eBay. It's nothing fucking special. eBay or... Once in a blue moon, somebody will hit me up on a messenger and be like, hey, you want to buy blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to grab one more deck for today, which this one's a good one. I had this in tech deck version as a child. Never thought the real one existed because I never saw it at skate shops or anywhere. The Krager Mixmaster. One of my favorite graphics, man. Has a fucking Hurley sticker there. Previous owner put that on there, but dude, this it's just sick. Like, I've never been a fucking DJ or anything, but I love this board. Had the tech deck, played with it at school all the fucking time, and always wanted the real thing. 
and I finally got it. And one thing I didn't know about these until I got older is that they have different colorways. They have a blue one of this that I have in this stack somewhere we'll get to another day. And they had another one where, I can't remember what color it was, but they also have like the skeleton one too, but I don't have that. They do a lot of shit with this graphic though, because like scrolling through eBay over the years, I found a wallet with this graphic on it. There's like a bunch of random shit. I remember Krager hit me up on Instagram one day and said that there was like a toothbrush or something that had this fucking graphic on it. <laughs> kind of retarded. But this has Grind Kings, one of the earlier gen Grind Kings. I don't remember what it was called, like G5 or some shit. But this one doesn't have such a low kingpin, which is what they're known for. That sticks out some. But I mean, it's inverted kingpin, so it's not going to hang up or anything. Pig wheels. It's pretty dope. Narrow too. Yeah, this is one of my all-time favorite graphics right here. Hands down. It's just, just sick. Alright, so that's a wrap on all these completes for now. Later on, do another video going through the rest of the stack. Maybe find the blue one to match this in there somewhere. One of my favorite graphics right here though, hands down, man. So yeah, if y'all like anything in here, let us know in the comments. Um we can get around to some more of it later on. This is just the beginning, as you can tell, I got a few left. Uh, but also, if you have any ideas or some videos y'all wanna see, let us know in the comments, cause just kinda winging it. And we've had a few ideas tossed our way that worked out really good, so hit us up in the comments. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, everything, you know, the usual shit. Uh, we're kinda getting tired of being in this room though, so maybe the next video might be some skating. Who knows, we'll see, I suck. Might not be skating, just some scooter tricks. I can do a tail whip, it's pretty sick. But yeah, check it out next time.